So if the earrings and the pendants weren't cute enough, let's make these incredibly super cute rings with hey nail guys, polish and Dollar so Tree said, items. I thought I'd come to you this morning and we're gonna make some rings, right? So I have these super cute ring bases. You can get these from your local Michaels and I love that they are adjustable so you can wear them on any finger. You can do multiples, any way that you want to style them or wear them. So let's get started. And we're going to be using, and these are the supplies you're going to need. We're going to be using nail polish again to make some rings. You know, we made, we made pendants the other day. And then we're going to also use the same glass stones we got from the Dollar Tree. I've chosen some of the larger stones just because I feel like they'll show up better as rings. And you may need to paint the back if you just want a nice finish but you don't have to only because the back isn't gonna show, you know, when you, when we create the ring. So they're gonna be, oops, super cute. Let me show you what the square one looks like. I have ring bases in bronze. They sell those at Michael's in multi-packs. I have them in silver. I couldn't find the bronze one, so that's why I decided to come to you with the silver base. But I'm just gonna wipe this off with some alcohol and then the round, you wanna make sure that whatever you're gonna use as your base that they fit well. So of course, these round bases aren't gonna fit on this particular square because there'll be some overhang. I just wanted to show you the different options that are available and how cute you know, they'll look on depending on what you wanna glue on. So this one little bead over here keeps calling my name that I have in like a little, you have like a little grab bag or stuff you just store stuff in. So even if I wanted to take a sticker component and put it on here, look how pretty that would be. So this is just a zebra bead that I got on the sticker aisle. I'm sorry, this is actually a glass bead, it's not a sticker. But look how cute that would be as a ring, especially with my nail polish, right? So I may use that one for that. And you could just make several of those, but that is so pretty. But um, there actually are beads that have holes in the side and they came in a pack of blue, yellow and purple, the zebra beads right here. So very pretty. I had gotten those a long time ago at Michael's. So I know that you, if you're a crafter, you have random stuff laying around that you can make some of these with, but I'm gonna be using the round bases this morning because we have the round pendants. And so I think that um, these are perfect for rings. They're perfect for you to make something unique to sell, to give as gifts, whatever you wanna do with them. So this is what the ring base looks like. And you'll notice on the bottom, it's adjustable so you can pull that out. So if you have small fingers or if you have chunky fingers, you can still adjust these and they're very comfortable to wear. So I love that. There you go. So let's get started. Now, I don't necessarily have a color or a design in mind, but this is the nail polish I'm going to be using this morning. This is like a um, fluorescent or a hot pink. I actually got these from the Dollar Tree. I've had this confetti polish for a while, so you're going to need to shape the confetti polish up really well. And it's not going to, you're going to have to use several coats. So just think about it. It's only going to give you a few polka dots. It's not going to go on and it's going to be perfect polka dot like that. You're going to have to layer it. So decide um, to know in advance So you may have to let it dry through coats and stuff like that. So the fluorescent color I'm using is number 516 by LA Colors and it's called Absolute. So that's one color, which I know these are going to go on light because there's no white base on the glass. So I also may have to do several coats to get the coverage that I want. And then this one you already know I used the other day is number 906 and it's from the Sassy and Chic. So let's do the pink one first. And then we can also use these as necklace pendants. So I know I showed these over on the other video because I was wearing them the other day, but I got this really pretty chain from Walmart for just $2.66. It was at 122, I believe, inches of chain and I really love how it turned out, how they turned out. So those are the necklaces and I already showed you those. So we're gonna keep going. So a lot of things you can make inexpensively using Dollar Tree nail polish. So let's paint number one. Again, I don't know what coverage this is gonna give me, but we're gonna check it out. And wouldn't it be really pretty also if it just shows up kind of like a watercolor, I mean, that won't be unattractive as well, but starting out, that gave me a really pretty pink. So I'm gonna put that down. 
I am gonna get the pokey tool that I normally use that I told you you could also get from the Dollar Tree because I wanna be able to hold it in place. I forgot to put my tape down on the table. So we're gonna let that one dry. That's really pretty. That is like bomb, isn't it? So let me get some tape to make it easier. So now let's do the other color while the pink one is drying. And I'm really pleased with the coverage on that one. I went and got some painter's tape. I forgot to mention that you'll need that because of course you these will be sliding around because they're glass, they're super slippery. So this is one of my favorite colors because I just love the brightness of it. And I'm like, this is so pretty. So, of course, this one's going on as more of a um, a clear and like a kind of a see-through yellow, but we'll see how much we can layer it and what it'll come out looking like. They look like mood rings that won't change colors, and I kind of like that. I don't know, they remind me of like lava lamps, things like that. So, we're going to let those dry. I'm going to make sure to put the color around the edges so when we go to lift it up off of the painter's tape um, that we have good coverage on all the sides. So I do like how the yellow one looks. Although it's more of a um, clear see-through, I think it's really pretty. I mean, there's so many things you can come up with. I just saw a light green nail polish I was looking for. Um, I got to clean out my craft area. It's like this cabinet in our kitchen where I keep all a lot of my supplies and stuff because we didn't need all the cabinet space, but it is a hot mess. But because my nails are wet, I'm not going to be able to do that until later. So my nails are semi-wet, so they, they were getting dense on them. But I said, let me make the video anyway. You guys look at this one. This is the OPI nail polish I got from the Dollar Tree. So let's, we're going to let it dry between coats. That is really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that. And you can sell these so inexpensively. So this color is called I Carol About You. And it's an old OPI color, I'm sure discontinued, but you can use any color. So, so far I've used these three colors to make our ring bases with. And they are just going to be so stinking cute. Now I am gonna use the E6000 glue, so I'll show you what that looks like. If you're new to my channel, I'm Garlinda Price and as art therapy. So full time, I own a real estate and construction company. So I sell residential and commercial properties and land. And then we also do home renovation and home improvement projects up to $29,000. And as a hobby, I design jewelry. I have not yet started selling it, although I have created an Etsy store and an Etsy account. So I really just felt like the Lord laid it on my heart to start doing creative um, things and teaching creativity as an outlet because I've done it for so many years. So that's a little bit about me. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, for those of you that are new to my channel. And so we're gonna let these dry for a minute and then we're gonna put on another coat and then we're gonna glue them to the bases. So we're just gonna go and put another coat of the fluorescent pink on this gorgeous little bauble. And I went on and taped it down. And I'm not even really sure of the design that I'm gonna go for. Okay, so before my phone dies, we're gonna put a second coat on the yellow one or the goldish kind of orange one. And it seems like it's gonna stay kind of like a clear consistent color like a moonbeam. I really feel like these are giving me like planetary vibes. And I love stuff like that. Um, totally love it, the way it's coming out. And in my mind, while I'm painting the bases, I'm planning out what I wanna put on them to make them stand out. But of course, we gotta let these dry really well because remember I told you the less expensive nail polishes from Dollar Tree, they don't dry completely, so you have to put a top coat on. So you have to give time for it to dry. This can't be one of those projects where we're impatient about rushing the drying process because if so, it'd be like a sticky mess. So this one is starting to dry. It's still a little tacky to the touch, but I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this one the one that has like the polka dots on it. So 
what I want to do is just put like some of this really pretty pink and I think it's going to be like a um what am I thinking about I think it's going to be like a frosted kind of just a center like a, a couple of um random lines across and this color is called pizzazz yeah I like that so just going to do that kind of across the center but leave it fluorescent everywhere else it just gave a really pretty kind of pearl like pink photo center i love it let me pick it up and show it to you that's what i love about the tape as well so see how it gave it that really pretty frost right there in the middle again we're making rings um but you could also use these as pendants and that color i used is number 514 by la colors and it's called pizzazz Okay, so this is the glue that you're gonna need. Of course, I've had this tube forever. I don't even know if there's still any glue in here, but I have a new one. But I just wanna show you that this is the E6000 glue. And I've decided that the color I have on my nails, which I really love, is this is by Sinful Colors. And this color is called Trend Matters. I think it's called Courtesy. But anyway, there's the bottom and this is a Dollar Tree polish i like it super cute so i think that i'm gonna put that color over on this one i'm just gonna do a little bit of it like we just did some swoops a second ago and that's just to give it some color across there because again i don't really have a design plan in mind i'm just gonna do what i think will look cute for people to wear as like you know classy little rings um, just things that they can wear. So now I showed you the confetti polish. I am going to shake it up really well to where the confetti kind of floats to the top. But keep in mind, this is mainly clear nail polish, right? So when you open it up, it does have the confetti in it. But also, it's mainly clear. So if we can get a lot of the confetti to the top, then we'll be able to control somewhat how much confetti comes out onto the design but remember that you can always layer oh my gosh that is so cute it's like a little birthday ring i'm gonna hold it up so you can see it but let it dry between coats and then what i'm doing is i'm laying the brush the um nail polish brush on its side because that's where a lot of the confetti dots tend to conjugate <laughs> for lack of a better word so we're gonna let that dry really well and then we'll be able to, let me do one more over here. Then we'll be able to layer the confetti. So it looks like even more once that second coat is put on. Look how cute that is. So I think that's gonna be really adorable. That's gonna be a really unique ring. And the whole point is to make statement pieces, right? So now I am gonna incorporate some paint here onto the purple ring, just because I thought it would be a cute idea, but I'm trying to figure out how I want to apply it because if I brush it on, I don't know, I feel like it might kind of smear things. So I think that I'm gonna use the end of a brush. You notice that this already has some paint on it. So sometimes I use the end of brushes as a tool so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit out of the bottle because the paint, the um, glitter paint is really thick. So I'm trying to decide. I'm just gonna do like a little dot in the middle that would make it look like a stone. That's kind of how I envision it. And you can put as much or as little as you want. And it's so obviously it's gonna be a bit of a raised dot once it dries, but I like that idea. And keep in mind, you can make whatever you want. I mean, it's your idea, it's your design, and they're all gonna be unique and individualized. And especially we always talk about, so if you're concerned about people taking your work, copying your work, or imitating your work, come up with your own style, come up with your own designs, right? So I'm gonna put back what we didn't use in the bottle and wipe off the brush. And then we'll lift this up so you can see it. Look how 
how cute that is. So of course I don't want it moving around too much, but I can even go in there and spread it out a little bit if I want to. Like if you notice there's some areas you want there to be a little bit more in, but that's really pretty. So that's the dark purple color that we had. I'll put that down right quick. I had to adjust my little workstation. So I think they're really cute. So I'm just gonna push the glitter paint out just a little bit. So it kind of has like an even circle. And even though I've shown the Glitterific paint on my channel before, this is by Glitterific, which is by Plaid. And this color is purple. So that's just the purple glitter top. And you can find this at Michael's. My Michael's has been so spare and sparse and out of paint. So I'm not sure if you'll find it there or online, but um, Hobby Lobby may carry Glitterific paint, you know, cause they all tend to carry the same thing. So this is Glitterific by Plaid in the purple color. It comes in purple, blue, green, red, gold, a mix of silver and gold. Like they have some incredible colors. There's a copper gold mix. So I totally love it. And so the only one that I'm kind of not sure about, I'm just getting this piece of glitter was sticking up, is my design with this one. I need to add something else to it and I'm trying to decide what. But I love how they're all coming out. I think they look really pretty and they are gonna make some super cute rings for you to give as gifts or to sell um, whatever you choose to do with them or necklace pendants. Like I think this one will be really beautiful as a necklace pendant, but hey, you get to decide the sky the sky is not the limit. Did you know that? Just a little known fact, right? That the sky is really the atmosphere and above the atmosphere is what? The stratosphere, the troposphere, and the mesosphere. And the mesosphere, I believe, is that point where you begin to enter the heavens, right? Of course, nobody's flying up to the mesosphere. But just know that when we say the sky... Hi, everyone. Okay, so now that everything's had a sufficient chance to dry, I'm going to... And I've done a second coat on the polka dotted one. It's so cute. I am going to, let's take it off. Look how cute that is. And so once it goes on the ring base, it's gonna be super cute. And then we're gonna take the pink one off. And I do wanna put a gloss coat on these so they'll be shiny and the nail polish will be protected. You can reuse your little workstations that you create, cause that's just painter's tape if I didn't say that earlier. And this is one of my favorites. I think that's really pretty. So I was gonna pour the um, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic on while it was on the tape, but then what's gonna happen is if you do that, you're not gonna have a smooth edge under here because it's going to be all gooey and gummy and then you'll have to clean up the bottom and I just didn't feel like doing that later on. So of course, this is too big for the square base. So we're just gonna stick with our cute round bases and so let's get the um the gloss on them and then after they dry from the gloss we will go ahead and glue them onto the bases and we will have finished rings i'm not putting a lot of the gloss on i'm just doing a really light coat just so that it has a shine and i'm using the pointer tool to um, put it on there because I don't want this to be one stuck to my workstation where, like I said, it has that overhang. I just want it to have a really nice shine. So your tool is going to come in handy to hold everything down for you. I am going to put some on the glitter portion because um, I don't think the glitter would come off, but you just want to protect your work because, of course, if you're going to sell it, you know, people can, can be kind of rough with jewelry. I have an incredible twin sister. I think I've told you all this before. And anytime I give her something handmade, she breaks it within days <laughs> because she's just kind of rough with stuff. So I'm going to move that over and now we're going to do the pink one. So I'm just going to hold it still. And each of these stones is kind of their own shape, their own size, their own dimension because they are glass beads, but they're not all, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not all symmetrical which is really cool. That's what kind of makes them so cool. And so again, you know, you can make earrings, you can use these as decorative um, bases on frames, whatever you want to do. And again, I think that, oh, you could make buttons if you were able to put these on a button base. Um, they could be barrettes. They could be what the centers for bows if you want to do something like that. So of course, um, hold on a second. It's running down the side, which is fine. 
and I know it's gonna stick, but I wanna move them over so that way they're not making a mess later on. So now we're gonna do the yellow one and we're gonna give them a chance to dry and then we're gonna glue them to the ring bases and we're gonna have some super cute rings. Now, this is my second favorite because it just reminds me of a birthday cake. I don't know why, I'm sure it's because of the confetti or it reminds me of the confetti and the sprinkles you put on ice cream when you get it at the store, not the store, but at the ice cream shops or sweet frogs or something like that. So super, super cute. I love this. And you can just make so many variations. And I was telling my teenage daughter, we were on our way to pick up food. I succumbed to ordering out tonight because I'm just too tired. Oh crap. <laughs> I'm just too tired to cook. And I told her to always own a business, always, you know, I'm not saying don't get a job and don't have a job because you definitely want to go. They already know you go to college. That's a requirement. And then after you graduate from college, if you want to get a job, that's great. But always have your very own business. And I told her you want to always have your own business so that you can create your narrative. No one gets to decide for you when you don't work. So that way, if God, whatever field you're in, God forbid you were to get laid off or something like that you're not out of money. And so I wanna encourage you all the same way. You know, this is a great project using these inexpensive materials that your children, your sons or daughters could use their artistic abilities. I saw an artist that started out, I think it was on YouTube, started out when she was three, just painting, just throwing paint because her mom was an artist and wanted to keep her from messing in her art supplies. So she gave the daughter her own stuff to play with and to use. And now that young lady is a teenager. She is a world renowned artist. So of course she's gonna go to college, she said, um, but she's already a multimillionaire from selling her artwork around the world. And so we wanna encourage our children. The, the sky is not the limit, I shared that, right? But own your own business, create your narrative, and no one can take that from you. And my husband's grandmother said it best this way. She said, get an education and get knowledge because no one can take that from you. So that's just my bit of advice from today. So how inexpensive is this? You know that you can buy this bag of gemstones, this bag of decorative beads. It doesn't tell me how many glass gems come in here, but let's say that there were 40 or 50, right? So 40, come on for a dollar, 40 or 50 of those for a dollar would make them about a penny each maybe. And well, less than that half a half a cent right and so also they can get as many nail polishes if they wanted to save up their allowance or use their budget at a dollar each and get all these different variations and it wouldn't even matter if they were all the same so let's say you spent ten dollars on nail polish to have ten different colors and then you could use clear nail polish as the glaze another dollar so you don't have to spend money on the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. I'm just doing that because I prefer my my gloss is, um, my super dry nail polish is thick and so it's just not cooperating. So you could do this relatively inexpensive and this would be a great business for your children to have over the summer. So these are already starting to dry. I'm just moving them around so they don't stick to our workstation. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna finish them out. Okay, so here we are. We are getting ready to finish up these gorgeous rings because guess what? I'm so hungry and it is time to get into chill mode. So what I'm going to do is I have the tape sitting here because you'll want to find something to sit your rings in or on so they can dry. And y'all, I think this container of glue has just about had it, but I'm going to push the envelope, see how much more I can get out of it because I don't want to throw it away and there's still some good glue in there. So I'm gonna put, sorry about that, the glue on the ring base and let me take that little piece off because that doesn't seem like it was ready. A little bit more. That little piece actually was dry. So I'm gonna start with the purple one and we're just gonna press it down. You wanna look on the back, make sure it's straight and that it's centered. Now you could put these face down, but my only concern with putting it face down is if it's not completely dry and I literally about 15 minutes ago just put the, um, the gloss on. So I'm gonna sit that in a little tape tray 
and it'll be good there. It'll just sit and chill out. And so let's get some more glue and we're gonna glue on the yellow one and the pink one and we are going to be finito. What are y'all doing tonight? Oh my gosh, our town is still on a curfew, which yours may be as well. So this is a great way to stay busy and keep yourself occupied. I actually bless myself uh -oh, with pretty much the day off. I didn't even clean up my house like I needed to. I will do that tomorrow because I just needed a mental health day. Just needed to relax. So that one's done. And now we're gonna do the last one, the super cute pink one. We're gonna let them dry. And then I'm gonna try these puppies on so you can see how cute and blingy-licious they are and how super sellable, right? Because guess what? People love handmade things. And I also noticed that people are starting to support local more and support more artists. So one more to go to dry. Let's let those dry. I'm gonna attempt to put the top back on this glue, at least the front of it. Gonna clean the glue off my brush. Just wipe it off like that and we'll be right back. So here we are, we have finished with our super cute stone rings. I'm gonna take them off of the tape, set that to the side and let's try them on. I'm still gonna be gentle with trying them on only because I wanna make sure the glue is completely dry. How cute are those, right? Keeping in mind that you can definitely adjust them, change the size. Oh my gosh, I think they are all so super cute. Still wanna give them time to dry. I don't want them to fall off. I don't think they will though. E6000, that is like the best glue. So just really adorable. So I want you to make some, I want you to have fun making some of these super cute rings and pendants. Oh my gosh, out of the glass, it's just such a sweet idea. And again, I had so much fun making these rings. Sorry about that, I wanted to put them all in the same hand so you can get a good view of them. And wouldn't these make the cutest party favors or a party idea, especially since um, doing birthday parties and stuff like that. This is something that you could just do with your nail polish at home outside for your kids, um, for your little girl's birthday party. It would be so much fun to make and they could have these as party favors. So anyway, enough of my jibber jabber. I hope you enjoyed another how-to video with super cute Dollar Tree finds. I think I'm gonna keep that one on. That one matches my outfit. So God bless you, I'll talk to you soon. Guess what? So coming up, we're gonna be finishing up part two and the completion of our hotness short, short earrings for the summer, okay? Stay tuned for that video.